Hi, I'm Miss Hearn. Let's get started. Okay, the integral from 1 to 9 of 2 minus the absolute value of x minus... This is, by the way, from section 5.4. Okay, so does uh, anyone remember, or could you kind of describe how we deal with absolute values inside of the integrals? Piecewise, yeah. So I'm going to come off to the side over here, and I'm going to just talk about what just the absolute value portion of this is as a piecewise defined function. It always basically comes down to two things. You're going to have an interval or intervals where you can just remove the absolute value and the sign doesn't change. And then you're going to have an interval or intervals where you have the opposite of what's inside, negative x plus 2 in this case. So what we have to figure out is uh, for what x values does each rule work, right? So under what circumstances can you drop this, this absolute value and just get exactly the same number? Well, if the number's positive, right? So when is x minus 2 greater than 0? When is it positive? When x is greater than 2. Okay, so, oops, greater than or equal to 2 would work also. Um, why is it negative x plus 2? When is x minus 2 negative? Let's start with that. When is x minus 2 going to be less than 0? When x is less than 2, right? What do you do when you have a number that's less than zero, it's negative, to make it positive? Multiply by negative one. In this case, I would want to multiply negative one times x minus two, and what's that gonna be? Negative x plus two. It's always gonna be, when you have a sum of terms, it's gonna be all the opposite signs. Is gonna be the opposite of the original. So this is gonna be x less than two, okay? So when it comes to definite integrals, when we're integrating from 1 to 9, for example, um, we have part of the interval from 1 to 9 follows the first rule and part follows the second. So we're going to need to split it up. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to integrate instead from 1 to 2 and from 2 to 9 so that we know which rule to use. So how would I rewrite this integral from 1 to 2? We're going to have 2 minus it's the negative x plus 2 rule because x is less than 2. So you're going to say negative x plus 2. All of that dx. Plus, what am I going to write for the integral from 2 to 9? 2 minus parentheses x minus 2. All right, I'm going to leave the rest for you because I think this is probably the part that gave people trouble. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please remember to like it.